Alright guys, this is episode 2 of the podcast. We are in Warren House. So we are, and um, Ricky's here, stayed haunted, Gary, Spooky Explorer and I. This place, we're literally, we had to board the door up so we did yeah. in case anyone came in. As you can see, it's a very creepy background. It is. It, Ricky's never been here, but no. me and Gary have been here and we know this place kicks off yeah. big time, so it does for activity. Yeah. Like one of the first apparitions I ever saw was in that doorway. That's mad. It was a big figure of man, scared the crap clean out of me. So this, so Ricky, hopefully you're in for a good night. Hopefully, hopefully. We've actually been hearing stuff. I'm excited. We've been hearing stuff <laughs> yeah. since we've been here. So we have already just setting our cameras yeah, and stuff up. Man's voice in the hallway, which is. And the hallway. why is it so cold? Reach the floorboards exposed. It's just blowing. Beyond, well, how there's cold there's ice cold just coming in now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's a bang. As soon as you mentioned, I got a personal in there. What more could you want, folks? You got a podcast. <laughs> I have the podcast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so. Well, it's not too bad because the last spare we heard talking on Neil's video told us to be careful, so it obviously cares for us. The one in Italy said Daddy. You went, Daddy. Yeah, and that's, that was that's like, probably the one hell? of the most clear CVPs I've heard in a long time. I don't even know. It's just like, it's. I don't even know how. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's the fucking freakiest thing I've ever fucking heard. Yeah. I need to clip it and put it out, so will I? Yeah, oh, 100%, 100%. I definitely do that one. Yeah. Right, what are we talking about today, guys? Right, so, I don't know, I think more so, like, I, well, I'm more interested now, because even though I was on the phone here when you were in Italy, and I was, like, watching your stuff, I would like to know from you, like, what would be, how different was the atmosphere being in a haunted location like that in Italy, compared to, like, a big location you have in here? Um, was there a difference or? There's definitely, I think there's definitely a difference. And I don't know if it's just because it's the unknown because I've never been before. Yeah. But see literally the locations that we hit in Italy were just, it was like a diff on a different scale yeah. compared to here. There's very, uh, very few places that would even be on the same scale. Yeah. And the thing also is the places in Italy aren't destroyed. They aren't like really vandalized. There isn't kids in them 24 seven. So there's not, so where we can walk up to an asylum and literally dander in through the door and there's barely a bit of graffiti. There's no way you can, you whole place yourself. It's like real respectful. Yeah, yeah. I remember that when I go over to Spain. There's a lot of graffiti, but buildings are still like- and Half decent in there, yeah. yeah. But do you think that when you're in a location at home, in the back of your mind, you know a load of hours later you'll be in the comfort of your own bed whereas if you're in another country you're like right yeah i'm not going yeah. to go on home at the minute it's you a know. fear factor it's not like well i think here you've got the extra factor you're worried about people coming in yeah because yeah, you never when you're in yeah. when you're in a obviously a derelict building and because in the uk all the buildings just get destroyed or burnt out and stuff and all and then there's kids coming in so it's really sometimes really hard to investigate. Yeah. So yeah. it is because it's just contamination. So it is, and that's why we like we do all like preparations before we go, we will go to a place. We'll check it out beforehand, and then we'll block the door. Yeah. To try yeah. and stop anyone coming in yeah. and sort of interrupting our investigation and, and the, to yeah. keep the contamination like to a minimum, like so we do. Because that's really weird, though, if you think about it. Like, there's not really any, like, do we obviously America, right? I done help you modern in America, but it was a paid for location. Yeah. So you paid for it and you got the investigate because they upkeep the building or I'm blah 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 so the, forth, right? Not having oh. stress by anyone coming in. Yeah. Um but like there's not many like that here. No. Do you know what I mean? Are there so the limits. ones that are here are very, very expensive. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. a lot of places obviously in, in America are expensive, but for what you get Yeah. Oh yeah, it's yeah. different. Like, you know, yeah. some of the, the asylums and, and the the places we're checking out, like they're only maybe four or five hundred dollars. So they are yeah. for us to go to. Whereas someone even like a place like for for example, Leap Castle, what's that? Nearly a thousand euro now or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, And like that's that's, that's small. We wasn't last time. Yeah, beautiful I mean, location though. Year brilliant, ago, just brilliant. Brilliant. Year ago now. But the thing is, me and you and a car were able to afford to go. Yeah. To book locations in America. But we couldn't afford to go to places in in UK. That's but that would pay because you would have to pay silly money. Yeah. We'd have to bring then we'll have to bring more people and then there's more contamination. Yeah. It's a conversion though, like like dollars and our money. So like our money's so straightforward. It's like a thousand pound, right? So then you go to America and you're like a thousand dollars. 
that's like 900, <laughs> 800, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's weird, it's like, it's, it's affording something like that because it's lower money than ours, whereas when we go here, it's just a grand. So, that's silly money like here. You know what I mean? That. And there's, they, they could bring so many more people in by lowering the prices too. Yeah. And have a, a quicker turnaround stuff along like. Yeah. Because there's yeah. some places that actually don't get, they maybe have the book end, the weekends booked out, but the whole week, there's nothing, there's no, there's no one going to it because mm -hmm. like, there's not, you know, whereas if we had um, the right cheaper prices, you could yeah. have it all booked out and make a fucking decent income like. Exactly. So you could. Exactly. I think with the, the popularity of tourism now, since things have got a bit better here in this country, people are coming yeah. on holiday, do you think they'll wise to that and it'll maybe... It'll be like other countries, it'll, it'll improve, if you know what Hopefully. I mean. Hopefully. I hope so. Yeah. Hopefully. But I, I doubt it, they'll probably fucking whack it up even more. Yeah. They're yeah. like, oh yeah, tourists come here, that's £1,200 now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's such a shame, like, because, like, you know, you're, like, you're, you're, obviously you're doing your own content, and you're, you know, you're, like, trying to build your own kind of, not popularity, but kind of your own sort of, like, thing. You know, you got these, these places where, like, get you to pay extortion prices, but realistically, it's not just, it's not just you who's, who's getting, you know, for your content, you're also, like, publicising the ones. Yeah. So you're being like, hey, look, this is a really fantastic location, you know, come here, do that, and then you put it on YouTube, yeah. and then it's like, wow, that's an amazing place, looks really cool. you got more people than want to go. Yeah. So realistically, I don't think it should be, that's my opinion. Yeah. It should be their prices, because it works each end, doesn't yeah. it? Like? That's it, it's fucking pain in the arse, all this. So, um, yeah, the question about Italy. Definitely is a big difference. Mm. Definitely to me is definitely is a big difference. It's just a different culture, I think. It's just a different way. Yeah. There's no stress yeah. of worrying about other people. There's no drama. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where yeah. every location here is drama. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's always someone has an opinion on it or someone this or that or you have to get do a minefield to get to it. You know what yeah. I mean? Whereas yeah. these locations in Europe you could just literally walk straight into. And yeah. there's, there's no there's no issues like, do you know what I mean? As you know from Spain and stuff, doing bits and pieces oh, like that, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Gee, that's weird. <laughs> right. Do you just want an hour question or do you just, I don't know if you just got one? Oh, Ricky has a question. Ricky yeah. has a question. I never shut up, so. Go ahead, Ricky. <laughs> I Ricky. always have a question. I look in the mirror every day and question myself. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? Who am what I? What am I doing here? Jason yeah. Bourne. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Why the hell, moustache? Don't copyright me. Don't copyright me. Did you hear that? Right. Did you ever laugh at Maybe we caught in the camera. Ooh. It's a really strange sound there as these two were giggling there. Hello? What the hell? That's been by the yeah, cameras. Yeah, here's like really good. But you didn't notice the cold breeze has stopped? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> do you know it was the cold breeze has stopped? See the heat I keep thinking now. as well. I hate, do you know one thing I, that makes me just want to get the location? The, the differentiate the, between, did I see that? Oh, or you're in the doorway I, looking out that way, Gary's in the doorway looking out that way, so I'm in the like, middle, so I'm not as bad. I keep thinking I'm you're seeing stuff seeing behind my camera. Well, that's a, that used to be the, the dining room, because in the description I was reading, it darted off to the left, or the right of the, the kitchen, mm -hmm. in the scullery, so that would have been the dining area, and then they would have come in here to the lounge. So, oh. I love this place. Oh, like a, mm -hmm. I love right. this place, yeah. What the hell? Did you used to have dinner here? Mini investigation. In the yes, because I join a join a join our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> There's a seat behind me, like yeah. you want to take a chill. Yeah. Just sit there, yeah. sit in the sofa, yeah. chill out. Right. Ah! What the fuck? Sorry, I'm standing up. Can't be on camera. What happened? Me, it's something just mean like pull my hair. Pull my hair. Really? Pull my hair. Something just fucking pulled my hair, no and I see it just sitting behind me. That's a, lang oh. that's a language bar you're <laughs> Sorry for the language. Wow. Right. It's just as soon as you say it, just sit in the chair. I was like, George, what are we talking about? I'll be but fucking no, sitting but, there right now. But no, but it wasn't like, do you want me, do you want me, I'm not, I'm not, it wasn't touching the hair. My hair was pulled. No So way. it was like something there, like, pulled my hair. Through your hat. It pulled it's my hair. Right. Sorry guys, you're jumping up there. Right. Can you, can you me? hold on a minute till we just we get the questions out? <laughs> <No>. Anyway. <laughs> I, hurt, I hurt my 
ankle jumping. Sound up. phenomenon, please. No physical. Yes, no physical, please. I hurt my ankle, guys, jumping up there. I know you were like, wow, that's a. It was, it was like stinged. Do you know like you get your hair pulled? It yeah. was near like, like a yeah. needle. Yeah. Like that, yeah. it's just like, psh, that's all it is. That's crazy. That's me saying about him sitting behind me. Yeah. Right? <gasps> Whistle? What, what the, the fuck? Was that or something else? This place is like, we can't, we're not even finishing this podcast now, like, because we're just getting hunted. I have a real tickly sensation on my hip here. Oh, sorry, I burped. I, I have a real there. tickly that, sensation. Who's that bang? Or was it me hitting this? No, no, I'm made here. No stumps. It's like someone going like that. Oh, don't. But it's on the skin. <laughs> it's on the skin. Oh, my God. Right. Concentrate, right. guys. Right. Concentrate. Concentrate. Right. Right, go. So, chill for anyway, that. <laughs> questions, right? What was the question? I can't remember. Gary, I'll ask you. I'll ask you, because I asked the name the last name, and I'll ask you. Right. So, your, your favourite piece of equipment and a piece of equipment you hate during an investigation. Go. I'll start with a piece of equipment I hate. You could do it either, either or. The Ouija way. board. Right, yeah. Oh, no, I, Why I'm, do you hate that? Just... Not just stories growing up, but I've, I've had family members who delved in it a wee bit. Mm. Um, including my mother and father, they're quite interested in it. But some of the stories of... Um, <laughs> I think it's just because it's so hard to close, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, that's what I thought as well. Like yeah, there's a lot of stories up around the list in the Shire area where a lot of young yeah. ones from my, my mum and daddy's area used to go up into the hills. And they also used, we had certain places we used to go and have a drink and things like that. They would have went up around areas like that. And then you hear stories from other people sort of confirming it. So, like it's all on the way or something? Yes, yeah, so the people who, the young ones who were, were um, delving in the Ouija board. A lot of them went up to that location and ended their lives in the trees. There's like a high oh, mass awful, tree. Is it? Is it Stony Road or Rocky Road? Mm-hmm. It goes and it starts. It starts near the Craigie Glen, and goes up towards Lagan College, and then up oh, yes, the yes. hills. Yep. And there were stories, and um, even with the whole story that was going around the area of the kids that did that or the mm-hmm. teenagers, a young lad as well tried to set a prank with the cars coming up the road and he slipped on the branch and he ended up really hanging himself Yeah. because of this whole, because everybody was in the all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So th- things like that. There was also, there's also a story of a, a girl who used her, her mother's wedding ring mm. or it was a loved one's wedding ring that was handed down to her and they were using that to move around the board. Yeah. And they didn't close right or whatever it was, I don't yeah. delve in it, so I don't know the whole workings. She put it back on, but what happened was they had to actually take it to a local priest, and he had oh, to, he had to take it away and before and do whatever he mm-hmm. done with it, and yeah. that and then returned it to the girl had to, to break it that way. Yeah. So just stories like that, and then obviously, you know, yeah. when you meet other paranormal investigators and they're yeah. quite strict. On That's the one board. thing I've never done. So, like so the Ouija board. Touch, ever in general, so like the Ouija board. I've done the Ouija board. Like, Give me a lot of bad luck. Yeah. Yeah. I done it in uh oh my god, my brain just went there. That flipping big mad place down south that's gonna turn into a hotel. Mm-hmm. What's it called? Remember? Um It's way down like Wexford or like somewhere. Um Loftus Hall. Loftus Hall. Yeah. Oh yeah, it. yeah, we we, we, got done, baby, okay, we done an investigation in Loftus Hall, it's really, really freaky like and you saw the Loftus Hall with the, the Ouija board spell out satanic and Satan and all that crap and stuff yeah. and all. My Ouija board. The one that Don and Karn do your house too. Yeah. You used the same one and I got angry and threw it. Yeah. So it brought a lot of bad juju. So I end up, it's still got it because I don't want to get rid of it. I'm scared to, but I've got what you have in one corner and the boards in the in the, in the shed. Yeah. Keeping everything separate. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I don't I just don't want to dispose of it because I feel like there's something sketchy if I dispose of it. Mm. But I feel I need to keep hanging yeah. on to it. I find people that buy Ouija boards online, so they're buying them from people and they don't realise I don't mind made. whether it's been used and, and closed properly, you know. What? I just heard like either a growl or like a man's really, really, really deep voice. Well, maybe I should stop talking about Devil's Board. Yeah. <laughs> no. Right, so what's your favourite one then? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. know, I don't know. <laughs> Some simple things are my favourites, you know, something as simple as the, the ghost box. Yeah. Or the Frank's box or the spirit talker, whatever you wanna 
there's different variations, you know, we mm -hmm. have the actual radios that have been altered or you've got the, the apps. A lot of people go apps, the blah, 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 but, yeah. you know, I just, I find that fascinating. Yeah. Just something as simple as that. Just or voice the technology recorder, of it, like, yeah. Voice recorder. Yeah. You know, like we have, we were doing the mill in Lisburn and we went to that area with a low ceiling. Oh, yes, up, yeah. And yeah. there was like an old lady or something was in the voice recording. Yeah. And it was just, but yeah, we had, we had a, what the fuck is that? That's like a woman. Sorry guys, I keep looking over this way because it keeps noises coming from this doorway. But when you heard her voice, you know, was it be careful or something? Oh, and, and, the, and then he was But when careful. you hear her voice, you're like, uh, relaxed kind of sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so some, some, spirit, our, our device is as but simple as that. All the kids are in the middle there. Yeah. There were pictures of all the kids mm -hmm. doing work and stuff and all. Yeah. And you think maybe the fucking that woman's telling the kids to be careful. With all the items that were stored in that room, what were they all connected? What had happened around them? What kind of incident has had happened to people that like hurt the machines or? Yeah. You know. Yeah. I am fascinated with these ropes that they're using that have the oh, sensor I really lights want on. Oh, uh, uh, I want to go somewhere. And it's sort of like, it can literally show you if something's walking along. I want one of them, but it's like, what, like there, 600 there. pounds? Yeah, I've seen I people put them around doorways. Doing them. Uh, well, he was doing them, but I don't want much for them, I got that there. Yeah. I've seen people Crazy. put them around doorways and the whole thing's glowed. Yeah, the, the when I was, um, when I went to Hillview Manor, um, they had the trip out, and that's the first time I'd ever mm -hmm. seen one. I'd never seen one, mm -hmm. or even, nobody had even mentioned one to me. Mm -hmm. And I was just completely mind blown. I was like, that's amazing. And it was down at the very bottom, uh, Bill's room is a local spirit in, in Hillview. Um, and the light just went, they were like, Can you walk up this? And I went, do, 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 all the way right up. And then he said, like, Can you go back down there again? All the way back down again. That's fascinating. Man. Mad. I'm hearing voices like, <laughs> no, no, like talking. talking. Yeah. But this, this is the other thing. Like, the, the problem with paranormal equipment mm. is the silly prices. Yeah. Same yeah. as locations, the paranormal equipment is through the roof. Yep. Like, I mean, it's way out of order. Like, it's not even, like, there's REM pods going for flipping guts of a grand some places. No, scary. And you're like, the exact same REM pod is literally going for a £100 here, £400 there, £600 there, and then someone's making one for flipping a tenner. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And basically, scary, you like, build the same thing for Robin Hood to the paranormal community. I was like, I look after the people. Yeah. I've just like there's some there's an electrician out there going fucking take it just make it. But that's yeah, the thing. Exactly. There's, there's some amazing. Yeah. I heard that whistle again. And there, that's I thought of her too. There is some amazing people making paranormal equipment. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And they're making it at a half decent price. Yeah, and like yeah. obviously they've got labour and stuff at all. Yeah, and three D printers as well. You're able to make the cases. Uh -huh. I have one in. I don't know why yeah. I don't ever do it. Do it for the people, Ricky. I can, I can Carl makes I can all those SLS I can build and stuff. Mm, anything on a three D printer. Mm. I just I'm too lazy. There's no other way about that. I go, I'm going to do it, and then I sit on my computer and go, do you know what, I can't bar, I can't bar. your family man as well. I know. You know what I mean, I do work. Oh, six six hours later, I made one of the box. worst things, see when I was building the Mandalorian <laughs> helmet, it was, it was 64 hours, and see because of my OCD, I kept having to watch it, so when I left the house, I was thinking about watching it. <laughs> it was just, it was so bad. And then when I got home, I was sitting in front of it going, Oh, is that lying in a place? Oh, 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 oh. Start and she's going to me, stop, stop, move away from it, just do something else with your life, do something else. <laughs> oh my god. So, maybe that's probably why I should probably, uh, yeah. So, your turn, go ahead. Oh, Jesus. I would say Ouija Board 2, basically the same reason as Afgari, but, and also I've had a lot of bad juju with it myself. But, um, I'm still interested in it. Because it's still another way of communicating with spirits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if it's done correctly, do you know what I mean? Open and close. Like oh. glass work or something? Yeah, like, yeah. I've seen, I don't trust glass work. I don't, the, the only reason is, it's hard to trust stuff like that too because people can push it. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. I remember some, I remember a paranormal investigator years ago told me that it's not the glass that moves. It's not like, it's not paranormal. It's not like a spirit pushing the glass. It's the spirit is making a person move it for them into oh, the certain subconscious. Yeah, subconsciously yeah, yeah. move it into like I think, and I don't know. That makes me scary. Yeah, I know. Is that is that, is that just bull? Do you know what I mean? But that would make sense because you know if you think about it that way, like with the weight of your hand. Do you know what I mean? 
like it's going to be very hard. Like if spirit, if we have to build the energy in a part. Hello. Hello. Oh, Jesus, you scared me. <laughs> you fucking scared me. Someone approached. Hello. Made my heart stop. Made there. some just like literally just went. It felt like even though there was no noise, it felt like some went. You want to make a loud noise? Work away. See, I don't like this. This spirit touchy touchy though. Yeah. You're not. You're not welcome not to be physical. In the head. Yeah. You don't have permission to touch us. I know the Red Bulls kicking in But you can make I'm plenty scared. of. You can make plenty of noise. <laughs> We won't run away. We're here for this. Well, it depends what happens. By the way, guys, we are on a sketchy floor. We're on a floor that has holes on it. The four boards are all collapsed. Yeah. And we're literally just hoping yeah. us three don't fall through the floor in the basement. Someone's took a shine to the copper piping. Yeah. 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 Have. yeah. This is the, definitely the danger zones. Like, what is that? No one can see it. Is that... That's a life fit. Was that a life fit? I would say it would be the up there, maybe. Probably. Guys, you can't see this, but we're looking at random stuff. Yeah, no, exactly, yeah. Yeah, this podcast has turned around and like you're looking around the room but what, it, what it, we could see. This is like ADHD stuff though, like, Oh, there's a sign over there. Oh, there's a six six there's a six 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 in the wall, guys. Oh, it's so gonna annoy me from I sat down here because it's physically right there, like six six six. I know. Someone has not yeah. very much of a life. Um Why? So so the favourite favourite bit of equipment? Can I say? What the fuck? Can I say camera? Yeah, say yeah I suppose. Nice. Yeah. And now Ricky's made me get a night vision camera. So I don't know night vision camera might jump over in front of the normal camera because I've never had night vision camera before. So. He's coming to the dark side. You're going to the dark oh, side. Got Car- or <laughs> Ricky wants me to fucking have full camcorder shit, like proper, like. Well, you're, filming you're, Game of Thrones you're, style you're here. filming so a camcorder makes more sense do you know what I mean he wants the full I got the A7 III or whatever and um, he wants me on the so big camcorder you got me, camcorder. A, you got me a big D, uh, got me getting a DSLR and I just literally just did not know what to do with it you need a Sony like I can pick up Sony a camera and pick anything I want like on a, on a camcorder I can pick it up and be like oh this 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 I pick up your camera and I'm standing like it's an, an, like an alien object Oh, my camera's heavy enough. Oh, you're yeah, exactly. It's heavy, so it is. Remember the last one, Casey, and you were like, here, hold this, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> it weighs a ton, like... <laughs> our arms must be massive from holding their flipping off cameras like that. Yeah. But yeah, definitely the camera, I would say, is the best. Um, yeah. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go to the dark side and eventually, at one point, maybe sell that and get a camcorder. Like a proper... Ca- I've got a camcorder at the minute, guys. You'll see night vision later on. We'll do an investigation. Um, but I'm just going to play up a year, I think. Mm-hmm. But I definitely like the camera because obviously we can catch a lot of stuff with the cameras. Do you know what I mean? Catching evidence yeah. and stuff and all. Yeah. So I, I like that because like, you think about it. If we set cameras up around this building and just sat here yeah, and just maybe called out, we're going really to catch stuff. We don't need to have like flashy lights and stuff and all necessarily yeah. or, or buzzy stuff and all necessarily. We yeah. would catch more likely stuff if it's gonna happen, like What's if say, the door's like, gonna close or something's gonna open or, yeah. or, or whatever, or noises and stuff and all. As long as our mics and lights are on, yeah. go in and catch it with the camera. Because like, that's what they say, you know, like I mean if you want to do a paranormal investigate, you don't need all that much stuff. All you need realistically is a, a recorder and a camera. So, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's hard to film in all fairness. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. Visually it's hard to film with no um tools like do you know what I mean? like mm. with no uh, equipment yeah 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 so it is unless you're guys like, unless you want to just watch us us three sitting in this room just <laughs> do you hear that didn't you <laughs> see like your it. face there, it's like i like it because <laughs> many times over the years it's whenever you're having a nice conversation that's when it's really what the fuck i see that what the fuck i see that that was like an actual person there's a, there's a f- Just like that. What? Whoa! The light chain. Look! 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 look. What the? Did you see? Did you see? What the fall, fuck? Like, did you see that? Like a shadow figure, like a full blown. Yeah. It looked around the corner. Something looked around the corner. I know you can't see us right now. <laughs> what but, the fuck? But my camera just went. My camera not now at the minute. I've, I'm, re- I'm recording, guys. Right. I'm recording. My camera right there just went to be square box to focus on a face. 
you know what the funny thing is? See the whole time we're sitting here, I kept thinking someone was looking through that mirror or not that window at us. You said from the dining room. Are we? Are we? Can you do that again, guys? What? the? Guys, do you just like this, us doing podcasts in the middle of a fucking this is location? Absolutely. Because madness. it just fucking kicks off. I can't believe I seen that looking around the corner. It was just like a fucking weird shadow, like yeah, light. I it, it had near enough like a. Wow. Like a light source going round the outside of the light shadow. So it was, and just looked, it popped its head out, just like yeah. looking around the corner. That's what I'm saying, I seen that. And then the light changed yeah. here. It went all like up and down in there. What about the wee guy on TikTok? He's got the state of the art, he's in China. I think it's a state of the art camera and it comes up 